In this video, we are going to take uh, more problems on partial fraction method. In the last learning video, we have already taken two problems on it. And here in this, we are taking uh, two more problems on it. Okay, so let us start with this problem. So this problem says find z inverse of z cube minus 20z upon z minus 2 cube into z minus 4. Okay, so let us consider this to be f of z and uh, try to replace this uh, complex uh, fraction in terms of a uh, partial fractions okay so let us start with f of z so what is my f of z my f of z is here i can take z common z into z square minus 20 upon z minus 2 cube into z minus 4 okay now this can also be written as say f of z upon z taking this z to the left okay and we remain with what is it z cube minus 20 upon z minus 2 cube into z minus 4 now what is our objective our objective is to represent this uh, complex fraction in terms of a partial fraction so let us uh, try to write it as so now z cube minus 20 upon z minus 2 cube into z minus 4 can be written as now how we can write this in terms of partial fraction so let me write it as a plus b z plus c z square upon z minus 2 cube because there is a cube equation so i can write like this plus 1 is the linear factor so let me write d upon z minus 4 okay now as far as uh, this uh, a b c d uh, unknowns are there i can find out this uh, d easily and how i can find out this d easily i have to put z is equal to 4 in the left hand side excluding this factor so you can directly uh, write d is equal to so what i need to do put z is equal to 4 in the left hand side this is not z cube this is z square okay so what is it this is z square okay yeah so this is d yes d square means uh, it's 4 square minus 20 upon exclude this factor 4 minus 2 cube so this is like 16 minus 20 by 2 cube is 8 so this is minus 1 by 2 so here we get uh, the value of d to the v d to be minus 1 by 2 okay if you want you can uh, write it in a box now next i have to find out the values of a b and c so for that i will take lcm and uh, when I, when we take lcm of this so left hand side quantity on the denominator and uh, quantity in the denominator on right hand side will get cancelled so i am writing directly to this now this would be z square minus 20 is equal to what is it a into z minus uh, 4 plus uh, b into z into z minus 4 plus c into z square into z minus 4 plus d into z minus 2 q now just solve this so this is going to be a z minus 4 times a plus b z square minus 4 b z plus what about this c z cube yeah c z cube minus 4 c z square plus what about this this is going to be d into uh, z cube minus 4 uh, not 4 6 3 to the 6 z square plus plus what is it a 3 okay so it is plus 6 z minus 2 cube is 8 okay z cube minus 6 uh, 6 z plus uh, this is square sorry 3 square uh, 3, 3 into 2 square into z so this would be 12 z correct okay so 12 z uh, minus 8 now collect the like terms so when we collect the like terms we have the terms of cube over here and here 
so c plus d c plus d bar uh, this is coefficient of d cube then z square so i have the coefficient of z square here one is this second one is this and the third one is this so what it going to be it is going to be b minus 4c minus 6 z square is it okay now the next term is of next term is of z so what are the terms of z this is one term this is the second term terms of z then this is the third one okay so it is going to be a minus 4b and what about this plus 12z 12dz this is 12dz okay and this is going to be 6d 6 times d is it okay now after this uh, we have uh, only the constant term the last term is uh, minus uh, okay plus minus of 4a this is the constant term and we have this minus 8d okay so is this okay now in the left hand side you, we can write it as 0 times z cube plus 1 times z square uh, minus 0 times z minus 20 okay now equate the coefficient when you equate the coefficient what you'll be getting you'll be getting c plus d is equal to 0 right so let me rub this now d is equal to minus 1 by 2 please remember that so this is like on equating on equating we get so what we will be getting we will be getting c plus d is equal to 0 okay this implies c is equal to what is it c is equal to minus of d is equal to minus of minus 1 by 2 so you can directly write c is equal to plus 1 by 2 so c d we have found out now let us find out b so you can see b involved here so we can just write b minus 4c minus 6d is equal to what is it coefficient of z square so this is 1 so this implies we have c we have d so what is it let me substitute so this is b minus c is 1 by 2 so this is 2 this is uh, d is minus uh, 1 by 3 so this is plus 3 okay is equal to 1 so what is it uh, this is okay b mm, plus 1 is equal to 1 so this is going to be b is equal to 1 minus 1 0 simple now at last i can make use of the last one so i have the constant term minus 20 so minus taking the easiest one minus 4a minus 8d is equal to minus 20 so minus minus will get over and we have minus of 4a okay 4a is equal to d is equal to 1 by 2 so this is uh, minus 1 by 2 so this is 4 minus 4 plus 4 so this is minus 20 plus 4 okay so minus 20 plus 4 this is uh, is that minus 4 okay minus uh, this is plus 8 into minus 1 by 2 okay yeah so this is minus 4 okay So, this is a plus 4, this is minus of 4a and this is plus 20 multiplying by minus sign. So, this is going to be 24. So, a is equal to, a is equal to 6, correct.
okay so now you got the values of a b c and d just substitute over here to gate so what is it now you can just write it as uh, z square minus therefore z square minus 20 upon z minus 2 cube into z minus 4 is equal to what is my a a is 6 what is b 0 no need to write c is uh, 1 by 2 okay so this is 1 by 2 z square upon z minus 2 cube plus what is d d is my minus of 1 by 2 upon z minus 4 any doubt up to this okay so if you solve the problem with the uh, basics you will get the correct answers or the correct values okay so don't panic uh, by looking at the example now i can uh, consider this uh, say this is to be a and i can replace that uh, z square minus 20 by this so a becomes Therefore, A becomes, so what it becomes, F of Z by Z is equal to, in place of that I can write, uh, what is it? I can take uh, LCM over here, so this is 12 plus Z square upon 2 times z minus 2 cube minus 1 by 2 into 1 upon z minus 4 okay 12 plus z square is it okay okay c z square yeah 12 plus z square uh, now i can uh, take this z to here and writing this uh, f of z as f of z is equal to 12 z plus z cube taking 1 by 2 common okay and we remain with z minus 2 cube okay minus 1 by 2 we have already taken common so multiplied by z upon z minus 4 now the next step is very important because we have to make certain adjustment to get uh, the inverse z transform of the given function so what i am going to do here is 1 by 2 z cube as it is the z cube as it is z minus 2 cube as it is now i am going to make some adjustment writing this 12z as 8z plus 4z okay so i am going to write this uh, 12z as 8z plus 4z any doubt okay and i am adjusting one uh, term over here that is uh, 4z square and minus 4z square so minus 4z square plus 4z square this is the adjustment that i wanted you to remember minus z upon z minus 4 now if you can look at this and uh, now i'm going to collect the terms of this uh, let me collect the terms of this uh, z cube and then minus 4z plus 4z okay so these three terms i will take together and i will write this one as 1 by 2 now as you can see the three terms which i have marked i can take z common from them and i will remain with z square minus 4z plus 4 okay and the remaining term is this of this 8z plus this okay so you can write it as it is or if you want you can take common uh, what common you can take uh, say 2z 2z i am taking common so this is uh, 4 
take two common if I take two common then it, it should be 4z plus uh, 2 common 2z square okay divided by now I am separating the z minus 2 cube to both the terms minus this term will remain as it is okay now I am going to replace this as a square minus twice ab plus b square so one can write this one as 1 by 2 into z into z minus 2 whole square upon z minus 2 cube plus this is a standard uh, formula of uh, one function which is uh, n square a n right so that we are going to make use of 2 times uh, 4 4z plus 2z square okay or this uh, 2 4 can be written as 2 square okay so this is uh, 2 into uh, 2 square z plus 2 z square upon z minus 2 cube minus z upon z minus 4 just to get the feeling of that uh, result I am writing it as 2 square z plus uh, 2 z square okay now this is my f of z. Now I can take the inverse z transform on both sides. Okay. This is f of z. So I'm taking inverse z transform on both sides. V gate. So what is it? This is Z inverse of F of Z. My F of Z is this. So I can directly write Z cube for the time being. Let me write F of Z is equal to what is it? 1 by 2 Z inverse of what is it? Z upon Z minus 2. This gate uh, cancel. And the next one is plus uh, 2 times z inverse of what is it 2 square z plus uh, 2 z square upon z minus 2 cube minus z inverse of z upon z minus 4 okay now these are the standard formulas so you can directly write the z transform so z inverse of f of z, z inverse of f of z is z cube minus 20z upon z minus 2 whole cube upon z minus 4 uh, is same as 1 by 2, this is outside, this is common multiply of the rest of the terms. Okay, so this is 1 by 2, what is this? This is uh, z inverse of 2 to the power n, simple plus these two as it is this is n square a n okay so n square what is a a here is 2 so n square a n minus this is again very simple this is 4 to the power n simple now I just take this two inside therefore z inverse of z cube minus 20 z upon z minus 2 cube into z minus 4 the same as what is it 2 to the power n minus 1 law of indices plus n square 2 to the power n minus this can be written as 4 to the power n can be written as 2 to the power n so this is 2 to the power 2n okay so this is 2 to the power 2n minus 1 is it and this is the required solution that we are looking for the given problem so i hope the problem that we have taken here is clear to you so thank you for watching and enjoy learning mathematics thank you